Uh, it's all up there. And if you use AWS, you already know this. In other words, and it is truly going to be an advantage that I can go to AWS, configure a virtual server, a compute instance, with any number of things uh, that I need for my applications. Uh, it's going to be expensive in doing that, but they do provide that capability, which gives you the agility aspects of it, speed to market aspects of it, which are the value of all clouds. And now, uh, Google has a com uh, comparable offering in this space that is Microsoft and you know, Oracle, probably not as many as in, you know, types of instances in the space. A AWS is very good at, you know, when in doubt, they throw it in. <laughs> so into the stack, uh, but it's uh, everybody kind of kind of play in the game, but they definitely are the leader in that space. Uh, and uh, if you want to learn about compute, you know, take a look at AWS, go on a free tier and things like that and configure some instances to see what they do. In 26 different families. What that means is you can always find the exact right instance type for the workload that you need. So if you're running, say, a big database or an analytics workload, we have the largest storage instances. By the way, a type of instance also, too, would be um, TPUs, uh, tensor process units, and GPUs, graphics processor units, in support of AI. Uh, obviously, there's going to be more money, but uh, they allow you to do that. And you can run any number of operating systems on top of those processors as well. ...that you can run anywhere in the cloud. Let's say you have an app that has uh, in-memory requirements. We have the instances with the largest footprint anywhere for those latent sensitivity needs that you have. Now let's say you're running an HPC cluster or a large AI and ML cluster, and you need really fast networking to connect all of those nodes together. AWS has by far the fastest and most scalable network to keep all of your uh, HPC instances or ML instances together.